Hey YouTubers, it's Charlie. So Stephen Amell dropped like the first teaser for their big Fortnite crossover and everybody was freaking out earlier today. So this is going to be a breakdown. There's a bunch of stuff behind the scenes that's going on. So I'm just going to explain what that was all about and what's happening this week. Big time TV Justice League crossover. I love Stephen Amell's teaser here too. Coming soon. So most of you saw this and like me, you know, kind of made the Deadpool squee face like, oh my god, I can't believe this is happening. But then your mind starts jumping through the hoops and you're like, it's way too early in the year for them to be shooting the big crossover episode, the big Fortnite crossover episode. So what's going on? Why are they all sitting here? This is a current photo. So what you're looking at, if you don't recognize all these boots, I'll start at the top and go around clockwise. So you have Adam up at the top, you have the Flash, Grant Gustin, you have White Canary, then you have Supergirl with her apple red boots down here. Then you have Stephen Amell, the person taking this picture. So the thought was really early in the day, they're like, okay, maybe they're shooting like a promo, a trailer to show off because the crossover episode is probably going to be episode eight of most of the shows. So there's just like a whole bunch of stuff that they have to do before they start shooting that episode. Like they haven't even dropped the first trailer for Supergirl season two yet. But then it got so much better. Jared Padalecki posted this picture of him and Jensen tearing the sign off of Stephen Amell's parking spot and making like they're going to take a piss on it. And they also quoted something about doing photo shoots. So it's like, okay, very clearly, all these CW actors are doing promo shoots for the next year. So you'll probably see some high resolution pictures, like, you know, nice, shiny, really awesome looking pictures of all the CW stars in the next week or so. Stephen Amell had the best response ever. Just, you know, best thing ever to happen in that parking spot. All in good fun. In real life, Stephen Amell is super bros with Jensen and Jared. So like they hang out in real life when they're not filming their shows. So they just have a lot of fun with each other. But we actually did get some details from Greg Berlanti on the crossover. He confirmed that it would be like a singular threat that would unite all shows. He didn't say if it's going to be extraterrestrial, like something that we haven't ever seen before. Something from the Supergirl Superman comics like Dark Side, Jack Kirby, Fourth World, if it'd be that big. Or if it's going to involve some plot with the Legion of Doom. But it's going to start with Supergirl on Monday night. It'll start on her show and she's going to be jumping from show to show. So there's going to be some MacGuffin that's going to help her travel the multiverse to get to Earth 1 to help out Arrow and Flash. And then presumably on the last night, the time travel show, Legends of Tomorrow, that's when they'll fix it. So they're going to have a whole lot of fun with Oliver and Diggle meeting Supergirl because they don't know who she is. They've never met a Kryptonian or someone that can do what she can do. They've met Barry and he can do amazing things. But Supergirl is like an order of magnitude greater than that. So in all likelihood, what I'm expecting is, is that there'll be some new thing from the Superman Supergirl comics that will pose the big threat that will also involve Legion of Doom. In whatever their plan is, you know, whether or not they're doing Infinite Crisis or Crisis on Infinite Earths, it would be a pretty amazing title to use, but we don't really know if the multiverse itself is going to be critical to whatever the villain's plan is. So either way, there's a whole bunch of stuff going on, but I know a lot of you want to know if Supergirl, they're going to like merge her Earth with Earth 1 so that she's on the same Earth as Barry and Cisco. They will answer that during this season of Supergirl. Like we have LexCorp and we have Cadmus Labs. So there's any number of places that could develop universe altering technology in the vein of Star Labs. So next order of business this week. So what's happening this week? There's actually some big stuff happening this week that might explain why they're doing all these pictures right now. So the TCAs are happening right now. If you don't know what those are, it's when television journalists go and listen to networks hawk their wares. So it's like, hey, we have all these new shows coming. This is what's happening with these series. It's kind of like a Comic-Con situation where they just do Q&As, but hopefully because it looks like they might almost be done shooting with Superman on Supergirl season two, is they might drop the first trailer with him and drop some new trailers for Arrow and Flash. The Olympics are happening right now. So like there's a new Star Wars trailer that's going to drop this week. There's just like a whole bunch of eyeballs on the internet and on TV this week because of the Olympics. So it makes sense that they would try to drop some more promos. Now there aren't a lot of new characters besides like, you know, the Wally West costume that they could show off. But a lot of people will probably be asking about Legends of Tomorrow, Justice Society stuff. They said that they've completely changed that show. So if you weren't a big fan of Legends in season one, season two is going to completely turn that around. Supergirl season two is the same deal. It's going to be completely different from season one. It's actually going to feel like a real comic book show. So get hype. Hopefully they will drop trailers this week. You know, of course, whatever they end up posting, whatever they end up talking about, I'll do videos for. But their panel isn't happening till Thursday. So be sure to subscribe to get that. The DC giveaway is still going on now too. All you have to do to enter is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this video. There's been a bunch of Suicide Squad stuff happening just because they just dropped that movie. It's doing gangbusters overseas. They're probably going to wait a while to announce what the sequel's going to be, but I've already done a couple videos for Easter eggs. I've done my review. 
I've done videos for what I think they're going to be doing next. So I'll post links in the description for all that stuff. But if you guys do have any requests for the new seasons of Supergirl, Legends of Tomorrow, Arrow, Flash, anything like that, so leave them in the comments and get hyped for a giant Fortnite crossover because this is going to be like one of the first times I think we've ever seen something of this magnitude on TV. While you guys wait for my next video to post, you can click here to learn more about what's going on with Superman on Supergirl Season 2. And you can click here for all my Suicide Squad Easter eggs. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Let's high five. I'll see you guys tonight.